212, we back at it. You already know what it is. It's that Hood to Hood radio show. I'm up to our man Joey Go. I'm pretty black, aka the monkey hustler. AKA, if it's a hustle, I'm gonna go get it. It's that Ripper yeah. DJ Trace in the building. Yeah. Trace is popping, boy. Hey, night, boy. How are you? How was the week? Chilling. Um, I went to AC this weekend. Last okay. weekend. Okay. Won a little 500. Lost a little 1,000. One little three. I don't know. You do the math. That, that, that <laughs> I think down, I lost. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think I lost. Came back home. Went straight to go play poker. Couldn't win a hand to save my life, yo. Uh, sometimes you eat the best. Some days the best. You shoot one, boy. But yesterday I won on um the games. Betting on the games. A little buck fifty, though. That's the life of a hustler, you know? man. You got to be in it to win it. Win some, lose some. That's it. Yeah. But I have fun. Yeah, I have That's fun. What y'all do? Nah, I've been ripping and running the whole month. Like, every every weekend is still my birthday, man. It's over now, man. It's <laughs> over, man. It's Gemini season now, man. Y'all, y'all can have fun. Gemini now. rock star yeah, in the building. Yeah. Are you a Gemini? Nah, 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 nah. Oh. We on the other end of the scale. All the way down by Libra, son. Oh, okay, Libra. Okay. Right. Libra gang. All right. Okay. You got your time coming. No doubt. No doubt. Wait around for it. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, so we get into it. We got um we got coming up. June f- oh, well, next Friday, you know, first Fridays at Mingles. We got the uh, fourth quarter boy, DJ LA Love, Party Rocker, DJ Smooski for the Geminis. You know what I mean? Um June twenty third. June twenty third is official. We got we got that um that hood to hood Black Expo. Black Expo. We're looking for vendors. We're going to bring up a couple of artists and stuff to perform. We don't want just any name to perform, man. We don't want anybody to anybody perform. We're going to pick and choose. And you got to have a following. Like, what's the purpose of you coming there and you don't have a following? Nah, that's that's facts. You know, you're going to piggyback uh, off of us or whatever. We, we want your uh, promotion, too. One hand wash the other. Both wash the face. Music by DJ Trace in the place. Uh, if he's available, well, we don't know. What's the date? June 23rd. 23rd. Sunday, June 23rd. Uh, Sunday, Sunday, we should be good. Daytime. Daytime, we should be good. Daytime. Yeah, so all this hit us up. DMS and that Instagram, Hood to Hood, Hood to Hood Wave Radio, IG, or Joey Go, or, or on your Instagram. Yeah, I do, but I don't want them DMing me. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> oh and no smoke. I'll call, I'll call you. Just hit them, hit them up, hit them up, hit them up, yeah. hit them up. Yeah, so um, so we got that going on. Oh, we be we should be hosting. Let me, I gotta get the info. We hosting the um all lady showcase. I think it's this weekend. Mm-hmm. We'll be in the building. Oh yeah, this weekend. Yeah, I think What's so. That? I gotta get that for opening Saturday, opening Sunday. Oh man, opens next mm-hmm. week. That, that's the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in the building. God bless you. Um, yeah. So I get all the information. Ladies, hit us up if you want to perform. Um, also, what else? What else? We it's, it's, it's a few things going on. Oh, also, um, Father's Day weekend, we have that yacht party with Avant and Jaheen performing live. Jaheen's birthday, all white. All white affair. Hit us up for them tickets. And the horn blower. The horn blower infinity. Tickets are 60 cash. VIP tickets available. Bottles and all that. Hit us up. DM us. You already know what it is. It's that Hood to Hood Wave radio show. Yeah, I'm I'm going hard for June so I can take the summer off. It's going to look like I'm going a little crazy because I'm going hard for June. Also, um, do we got some Biggie? Wasn't it his birthday or something? Yeah, the 21st, yeah. Monday. Oh, we got some Biggie? Absolutely. Well, we probably don't have, like, um, clean big, Biggie, right? Nah, I got some clean Biggie. You got some clean Biggie? Yeah. All right. Well, he's he been going for enough years. It can be hard to find some clean <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, 
All right, so um, let's get into it. Hood to Hood Wave Radio Show. Let's go. Wednesday from 8 to 10, man. Tune in, tune in, tune in, man. Show your love, man. Come support. We gonna support y'all. We gonna do what it do, man. Hook the hook radio, man. On www.ldlnetwork.net. Yeah, we know. The hood wave radio. Now here we go. Every Wednesday, 8 to 10. Here's bumping through your stereo. Never soon june 10th at the national black theater so we had to come and show you guys love and right. let you see what we got okay who's in the building let's get the names let's go on for the left to right my all right left. uh my we left. got trouble in the building you have a left you have a left we got you we got you <laughs> come on <laughs> well i play jazz um people know me as black rose but i play jazz in the chained movie my name is lexi jose and i play china my name is Trouble, but my name is Sharice in real life. <laughs> okay. Hey. Right. Okay, Trouble. All right, I got it. Right. We got it. We got it. We got it. You got it? Yeah. All right. You got it. All right. <laughs> he, he was like, so, I think so. I think so. <laughs> it's okay. You can act like that. I gave him some of that punch name. over there. What, what's yeah. in there? Um, uh, we don't know. Just some grapes, you know. Yeah. Uh, Stepped on. So, <laughs> did, did y'all step on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. What's the word? Oh. My Actually, toes. no, Lucy from My Love Lucy. Step right. on them. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. It's a little nervous. All right. <laughs> so um, tell us about this, the movie. It's a movie, right? It's a movie. It's a movie. It was a novel was a, first, right? A novel yeah. first. Right, yes, yes. And who's the author? Deborah, Deborah Cardona. Deborah Cardona. Deborah Cardona. Oh, she's actually in the building, sexy. too. Shout out to her. Because <laughs> you know she's sexy. Is this based on a true story? Yes. It, it is, is based on a true story. It's a tale of two females from Harlem that uh, refuse to, you know, give each other up. And they go, you know, super hard in the streets, super hard with each other. They refuse to give up on each other. And it's just a, a, a you know, a tale of fr- a true friendship. So we go through ups and downs. and right. hustle and drama and action and <clears throat> a lot of other stuff. We see trouble getting a little sexy with us. Yes, a but I'm not going to spill the beans. You guys need to feed a little bit too no, much. No, no, you got to feed the people. No, yeah, we're not, we can't feed you too much. We want you to come people. watch. I mean, the, the, the more you feed them, the more hungry they get. You and, know? Then, and then what you going to come see? I'm going to come see the movie anyway. Yeah, you yeah. want to <laughs> actually see it. You want to see yeah. what's going right, down. Right, like, right, she, right. Just yeah. said, she just gave us a little taste. A little, little time, right, so, yeah. okay. So my role, Trouble, I play Jazz's friend. Um, more level-headed. Uh, Jazz is really into the streets. I'm like the more scary one. I'm worried about, you know, my livelihood, you know, later on in the future. So with that being said, um, she gets into some trouble later on, so I'm forced my hand. And with that being said, we 
formed a group chained. Well, it's more to it. So that's why we'll, we'll define the chain, the chain word itself. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm China, and I'm, I'm her friend forever. Right. And um, I'm kind of I'm kind of um, the hothead, and the, the one something they, like the, that. <laughs> the one that keeps the group of ladies together. Right. So she's the scary one. So the scary one needs a real, real the yes. the, the real scary one. But I'm so, the brain. But she's yeah, so. she's the brain. She gets things done, and I and I'm like the pusher, the pusher man. I okay. help things happen. <laughs> and you the one that break people heart. Black Rose? No, no, right. not really. Um, if you read the novel, you will see in the beginning that Jazz and Trouble were very close friends, and I'm the one that convinces Trouble to take over the block. Um, we, we basically see that men were hustling, and you know what? I wanted to be part of that. So you know what, Trouble, boop, let's do this. Boop, boop, boop. And it took Too some much. time to convince her, but... You know, a lot of things happen. I do end up incarcerated, and um, that's when the movie really kicks off. I mean, you, you saw it right now. It's live. You just heard right. it. Yeah. The entire movie. <laughs> no, that's, that's Give them samples. Right. Slow the, entire, the entire movie. Yeah, that's yeah. Like, here in Hood to Hood. That was, heard it first. Oh, that was chapter no. one. That's like chapter one. Right. That's, like one. That's, like chapter one. Right. that's the pilot. That's like a slow sample. <laughs> So yeah, right. I mean y'all too. Y'all should be special. Y'all just got the whole movie. No. Exclusive. Exclusive. We, well, no. we try, exactly. We trying to vision it. We no, try, now we try, gotta, now we try. Now you got to it. A lot, a lot of awesome. other things happen. Um, you guys just have to come watch. People oh, getting killed. Definitely gonna support. Definitely, Any killings? Yes. Sex. Hey, you just gotta come and see. Listen. We, a little bit of everything. Listen, we got we got a lot of falls out there looking at y'all. I mean, is there some nudity in it? Anything, hey. whatever. They look at these beautiful ladies up there. They want to know. The whole gang is here. Gang, Every, gang, everyone gang. has right. um, <laughs> everyone has helped bring um, something to the table. Yeah, it's a yeah. woman empowerment uh, project. So we um, we have a total of what eighty percent women, women on <laughs> on the so, whole cast production team. Yeah. As far as Part everything, the, the only movement. man on the team is I Charlie mean, why, O and well. Mr. Commodore. So okay. shout Very out to much. them. Yeah. So yeah, we got twenty percent men. So it's it's kind of like we're taking over. Yeah. So is is it a little male bashing a little bit? No, no not at all. Definitely not. We're just trying to show you we can do it too. Okay. Right. Like, cause at the kinda end like, of the day, like it happens. It yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, right. It happens yeah. every day. I'm pretty sure you have a neighbor or whatever's mother was a was like a gangster. Like I, my friend's mother was a gangster. The first time I met her, I was like, mm -hmm. well, Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. and I was like, Yo, wow, it's kind of dope, but it's kind of weird, <laughs> but it's dope. So, you know what I'm saying? You Everybody meets anybody in the hood that's kind of... I don't yeah. play that. The characters you can, are... You can find anything people. in the hood. My point. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. tune in. Yeah. It'll be there. Everything. Right. Right. No. What? For the, it's, it's, it's over. It's too late. Tell it comes on June 10th, baby. It's tell already the list. Relax. But come part see two. us. There is a part two. You part can two. get in yeah, on you, the part two. two. You, start, right. you started early. Tell yeah. me start casting right now. So part <laughs> <laughs> Hit us up it. on our DM. I, he's hearing me. <laughs> Which one of y'all play Debra? Debra? She does. You. She okay. All right. All right. Two yeah, folk. Cast two folk. Right. If you're listening. All right. Can y'all relax over there? Like nobody can hear y'all. So it's like we're talking to ourselves. Thanks. They rule. <laughs> All right. Back to business. Let's get into the clip, actually. Let's get into the clip so we can talk about what we're going to say. Okay. Because they have a lot to say over there. Yo, check it no out, microphones. people. Call up at 347-640-3920. Let us know what you think about this clip. What's this clip about right here? Who want to talk? What, what we I believe oh, it's, the what clip? What clip? it's the trailer. Is it the trailer? Okay. Trailer. Oh, trailer. Oh, it's the trailer. It's the trailer. What I was saying in the beginning. I'm also proud Plus of this project because I'm one of the co-directors, okay. so I'm super excited about that as well. So. Want to see this trailer? They got it. You ready? Yeah. Let's get yeah. it on. Let's, Let's get into it. Introduce the ladies. Well, and coming here to, to you. you. Chained. <laughs> here we are. Chained. The, the movie. movie. No. Oh, the trailer. Uh, all right. Take one, two, three. Chained. Chained. The trailer. movie. Oh. All right. <laughs> you know what? Just go. I'm hey, the clip. Yeah, y'all characters. Like, the, the, yeah. All strange things, they come and go as early warnings. All strange things. The fuck is wrong with you? Fuck you, bitch! I'm fucking That's 
Fuck you! Oh, get the goddamn oh, You're hurting my fucking arm! Can you fucking speak? Oh, my arm! Fuck up. What's your bill? Two hundred and fifty thousand. On everything I love, I'm gonna get you out of here. You ain't taking over. Exactly what I mean. Taking over. Taking this motherfucker over. We getting out. We splitting up. Everybody hit a corner, and then we gonna form in on them. No fucking talking. Stay stupid. Hey y'all! I liked it. I hope you guys liked that. I'm <laughs> sure you will. All right, let me ask you ladies a question. But before this movie right here, had any any of y'all had any uh, acting experience? Well, I have. me and I'm sorry. You want to go first? No, go ahead. Me and uh, Rose actually started on a uh, one two four web series, okay. so that was about two years ago, and um, we're here now, China. <laughs> China. <laughs> you know, um, back to you. I have. Uh, yeah, I have. She's being so <laughs> modest. She went to school for this, Lexi. Please, no, I I'll I'll but I just had some. Like, I mean, it, yeah, I have. I oh, went so to the American to Academy of Dramatic Arts. Um, we grew up basically in the same block, so we saw a lot of people. We're like, I don't know. I'm sorry, no disrespect to anybody. I feel like we're from Harlem. We have talent. It is raw. It's something that we've always seen. So why is that disrespect? No, no, I'm just saying, you know, just in case, because we in the Boogie Down Bronx. Shout out to the Boogie. I visit the Bronx, too. But um, there's a lot of talent, and um, we were able to get all these talented individuals together in one room. <laughs> So how crazy the story over What happened? What happened? Oh, what the hell was trying to say? Fucking take it. Okay. Can I but no, yeah, there's a lot of talent. Um, a lot of us have worked in, in various projects. Um, we've all bring something different to the table, and seriously, I cannot wait for you guys to see everyone. I feel like everyone did their thing. Um, we've mentioned before, this is like uh, our, our belly. Right. So okay. you guys have something to look forward to. And when is coming out again? June 10th, National Black Theater. Get your tickets. Click the link How on the bio. How much tickets? Tickets are going for right know. now. 40, the tickets right? are going for 40, but you're $40. getting the you're getting the entrance, you, you're yeah, getting women, food, you're get, they get t-shirts. Um, <laughs> get a lot of gifts. A lot of gifts, right? A lot of yeah, gifts. Yeah, yeah. A lot of gifts. A lot of gifts. Let me for $40. Why not? And um, there's performances. Um, we're going to have Sonny Lee performing. We can't wait for him to get here from Florida so we could get to yeah, work. Shout out to Sonny Lee. Yeah. Um, so it's an experience. It's not just, just a movie premiere. And um, we got to support each other. We are all we got. Facts. Harlem, stand up. Let's go. Let's go. Donald, please watch that camera. Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh, we can't afford Donald. it. Exactly. <laughs> you got it. Please get from over there. Thank oh, you. Donna. I can't that costs a lot of money. <laughs> Donna Donna does her Donna thing got a in the good movie. role in the movie as well. Did she guys uh, did she Donna tell you guys? No, yeah. no. Yeah, she's in the movie she as well. She plays the bodyguard, right? She didn't say it. Yeah, she, she does she does good bodyguard. though. Okay. I'm like, she, maybe, she should, maybe she should be she a, a the damn bugs bodyguard. bodyguard in real life. Okay. Yeah, she was dead serious about her bodyguardish. Okay. She was. I was like, ow! It was good. Dead serious. And she thing. looked good doing it. Right. Did y'all enjoy making this movie? Like, was oh, it yeah. fun or was it like work, work? It, it took a while, man. It was a little Lexi bit of takeover. Was, yeah, right. got, can, can I talk? Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah, mm. I mean, <laughs> it was a little bit of a lot because um, since the process went from having a cast to losing most of our cast to gaining new cast and starting all over and, and stopping and then having personal problems to starting the retape again. So it was a whole bunch of that plus we seen the, the raw t to the paper to the, to the screen. So it went from everything happy, sad, everything. Mm -hmm. Hot, because it was in the summertime. <laughs> How long it took to make it? Um, a year a and year? a half. So you said... It's eighty percent women, so you know women. You know a lot of women when they get together, they get a little catty. So it was a lot of that we had on. a lot of. Oh, it's a cast yeah. of alpha females. <laughs> yeah, it is a full you cast yeah. just yeah. like, I'm of alpha that. females. <laughs> yeah. And but we know each other now, so we don't take things personal. I, I'll tell you, I, I used to be sensitive. If, if anything has taught us to understand each other, be able to hear each other's perspective, because at the end of the day, we all just want the best 
for everyone. We want this right. project to show our vision, Deborah's vision. Um, so imagine a, a cast of alpha females, all of them. So when we actually see the finished product, that's like, we know we, we did all of that and stuff. So y'all watched the movie already? So. We have. I see we some. Have. I seen some. She shouldn't let y'all watch the movie. Y'all should have just been surprised. Well, right. um, I'm one of the co-directors on the film. Okay. So, um, you know, we did a lot of, a lot of cutting and, and like Lexi said, we lost cast. We had to. Why well, use... cast? Well, you know, life happens. They can not read. So, they can no, read. No, no, nothing. No. Happens. Life happens. Real life situations they happen. If the yeah. people have, oh. they have a life and they work, and if we got to film on Monday right. and they're not available, then guess what? The show must we, go. We, we got to keep it pushing. Or right. some real life things or happening. Life things, yeah. So it's right. that unfortunately we got people some of them in. We had to get people, a cover you know, to play yeah. them. Certain <laughs> angles. We, right. we made it work though. <laughs> we made it work. Okay. So mm -hmm. being that you're, you're playing roles of whatever, you have significant others? Like, anybody have problems, like, you know, women, you know what I mean, doing the film and stuff? You must have what a problem. Mean, problems? I'm confused. Huh? Problems like what? You know, like, sometimes you, when you have a, a, a partner and you're doing a movie, you know. They get into their feelings about yeah. what you're doing? Yeah. Uh, mm. Mm -hmm. You yeah. didn't have that problem. No. Well, I've had... You, you sound like you control your situation, though. No, it's not about controlling my situation, but from the beginning, this is what I do. So, I mean, okay. I'm just going right. to respect myself, respect you, and respect others. But if I'm acting, then I'm acting. I'm not going to sling my, you know, on the screen, mm -hmm. but <laughs> I am working. Right. So you got to respect that, or we're going to have to talk about that another, another time. Okay, okay boss. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> I don't know. Let the church say amen. amen. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Um, we got another clip or no? Do we have another clip? I believe do we? Do we? The no. other half of it, maybe. No. Half of you guys only no. Okay, right? Yeah, you well, only seen, seen the that first beginning. Half. That was a, that was definitely a little snippet. A little yeah. snippet. A little snippet. Another, another half. Some actions about to come right now. Yeah. But um, so let's, let's let some music real quick. Trace don't follow people back on Instagram either. He don't. This looks Trace, so you need to stop being private because you a DJ, Trace. You need to un wow. you need to unprivate yeah. yourself. Mm. Nah, I got to do another work. page. I got to do another page. No, you're going to have to do another page because you're not that, trying to get beat up by your, by your family page. That's the okay? family page. The wife, you got to respect the wife. God you know is good. Saying? God is good. So now. <laughs> All the time. Yeah. So, DJ Trace, have you had any issues with your personal life right, and career? Right. Yes, and this is why my page Negative. is private. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. I, I had like issues, but the, they were my issues. I was thinking too much with certain things, and at the end of the day, like there was one scene that I was just like, "Oh my god, am I gonna do this?" And like it was nothing. After it was done, I'm like, "Why was I bugging out so much? This is really <laughs> nothing. We don't have to play with camera angles." Right. Okay. I know what you're talking about too. <laughs> I'm not gonna like, let them that's know. That's like an inside thing. Okay. I'm glad because if she spilled this bean, I was gonna hit her with this mic <laughs> right now, live in person on Hood to Hood. Wow. Jesus. Let's get to some music real quick, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hood to Hood Radio. You already know what it is. We be right back. One, two, one, two. We back at it like a crack at it. You already know what it is. We have somebody else in the building. The director, right? Deborah? I'm the creator. The creator. Oh, excuse me. The movie's me. about you. 
something like that. Don't look at me evil. She's <laughs> looking mad evil at me like, go ahead, I'm waiting. I'm not looking you. at you evil. All right, what's going on? I'm just How's your attention. day going? How's your day going? Good. All right, okay, tell us about the movie. You tell us now. Okay. From the career well, point. Chain is based on my life story. Um, when you write a novel, you can only write what you know. Anything outside of that is fabricated, and the readers will know that it's fake and it's phony. Um, when I first started writing my book, I allowed other people to, to listen to my chapters, and they all said, yo, you know, you got something on your hands. And I'm very humble, so when, I, when someone tells me that, I'm like, yeah, 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 whatever. But I continue to write. So... Um, once the book came out and I seen how well I did, because I sold, a hun- um, I sold ten thousand copies in less than six months on let the streets of Harlem. Let them know where they can get that book at. Let them know, let them know where they can get that book at. Sorry to cut you off. Let them oh. know. Okay, you can get my book on Amazon. You can get my book directly from me if you're in New York. I like to deliver my books, and I also like to um, autograph it for the person that purchased my book. My book is ten dollars. So you get an autographed copy. You can get it on my um, on my Facebook. Just reach out to me, my Instagram. Tell them where you wrote the book and, and who was reading it, because I think that's important. Okay, I wrote my book while I was at Bedford Hills. Okay. For the people who don't don't know who, where yes. Bedford Hills is at, can you explain? Bedford Hills elaborate. Correctional Facility. What well, made you want to write a book? That was an outlet for me. It was either that or get myself caught up in the lifestyle of the prison system, and that's not what I wanted to do. You know, um, Bedford is a very treacherous prison. You know, a lot of men say, oh, Sing Sing is treacherous. Nah, there's nothing like Bedford Hills. The women are evil and they devious, you know, and they'll do anything to take you down. So I needed to find an outlet to stay away from that because I have a mental problem, you know, like I'm kind of crazy too. So I'm like, you know what, before I get myself caught up in hurting someone or someone hurting me, let me get into reading. So I started reading a lot. And what happened was that I came across a book that I thought was very badly written. And that's when I challenged myself and I wrote Chain in 30 Days. I came home with 13 novels. Wow. How long did you do? I did 10 years. 10 years, wow. So you had a lot of time to write. I had a lot of time to write, and I also had um, the privilege of the superintendent giving me that time to write. Because when I challenged myself, and she noticed, you know, um, I had asked her, could I get a typewriter? Because it's one thing here writing it, but you really can't send it out to the publishers handwritten. So I had to type it out. And my goal was to send it to Terry Woods, because Terry Woods was popping at that time. And that's who I wanted to publish my book. So when I wrote the superintendent and requested that I get a typewriter, she came to see me. And she was like, what do you need a typewriter for? You know, and um, because Bedford is so dangerous, it's, it's a max. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they're not going to let you just get a typewriter. You can take the keys out, make a, you know, you can make all kinds of weapons yeah, with a typewriter. And I told her, I said, listen, I'm, I wrote a book and I need to type it out because I want to send it out to some publishers. And she said, show me. And once I showed her my book, she was like, but I'm talking about I showed her from the first draft to the second draft to the third draft. Like she saw I was working. She seen that. And she granted me the, permi- the permission to get my, um, my typewriter. Do you speak to this lady to this day? Like since you No, let me tell progress? you something. She, she challenged me. She told me, you're not going to do no programs because I already went in with a high school diploma. I already went in with an associate's degree. You know, she was like, you got a high school diploma? You got this, you got that? Yeah, she went and checked it out. Like, I could have just said anything. She went and checked it. And she was like, all right, well, you know what? I'm going to make you a porter in the unit. You ain't going to make no money. She said, but... You know, um, I want to see how many books you could write from here to the day I retire. And I asked her, I said, well, when do you retire? She says, I retire in five years. When she came back to me, I already had 13 books. Wow. Nice. So, you know, then she retired, and, of course, you know, she can't affiliate herself with an inmate. No, I, I think you should find her. I think you yeah, should find you her. Should. Yeah. yeah. I think you should reach out now. Invite let's her to let's the look premiere. for her. 
Yeah, right? that would be, be dope. That would be so great dope. if she came to the premiere. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like and here you go. See. Mm-hmm. One thing about Debra, I met Debra when I was while I was working at Chase Bank, and she had fire in her. Um, you can't tell that she she did the time that she did. All I know is that I saw her coming to the bank every day to make them deposits of all those books that she sold. And she was not playing about the empire that she was building. And we lost track for a few years. She found me, and and all I've seen is growth. And this is why we believe so much uh, 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 with this. We believe so much on this project because I've seen it from the moment that she walked into Chase, her dedication to her empire. So do you consider yourself like a mentor now from going through what you've been through? I've, I've been a mentor prior to the movie. I'm a motivational speaker. I used to speak at drug programs for women. Mm-hmm. And um, when, I came out of, when I came out of prison, that was one of my goals. So I went to like Project Green Hope, Odyssey House, Exodus. And I spoke, and I also gave away books to the ladies. I stopped doing it for a while because um, it kind of got complicated, like, to get in. You know, with each facility, is something different. You got to bring this, you got to bring that, you got to do this. And I was like, you know what, you're, you're stopping the growth of those women that are there. I'm already where I need to be, you know, or halfway there anyway. You know, so I just had an outing with one of the, one of the case managers, and I was like, you know what, it's okay. You know, but those women that I was incarcerated with came home little by little, 15 years, 20 years, 25 years. They all coming home, and I see them on Facebook, and I see them on Instagram, and they all reach out to me. You know, and then I had, I had no lie, I had like 12 prison kids, and each one of those kids got their GED in there. You dope, know? Dope, dope. What's up? Yeah, I'm lost. You lost. Right. I'm lost. You lost. You lost for words. Uh-huh. So um, this is why chain is gonna be dope. We was trying to tell you from the beginning, but you didn't want to listen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I'm back. <laughs> that's why he needs. He needs fire. Yeah. He needed somebody yeah. to spark his, there. spark his plug. Spark. So what, you, yeah. what you need to try to do? You need to try to uh, get your book into Bedford. I mean, my book is already in Bedford. It's in the library. Oh, okay. I, I sent three cases to the library. That's dope. All the girls have read my books up there. They have read Chain, Two Full, Butterfly, One, Butterfly, Two, Pocket Full of Game, Pocket Full of Game, Two, The Lounge. I have a lot of books that I put out already. And I'm also a ghostwriter. So for a lot of people that don't know, there are a lot of, um, there are books out there that have another person's name on it, but I am the actual writer to those books. Okay, cut the check. So June 10th, this this is the first time, cut the check. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Got so, down. so if you're interested in getting, you know, like a script done or even a book, you know, like if you're interested in telling your story in some shape, way, or form, I'll write it for you for 10000 10000 yeah. Cut the check. I got, got, got 7500 for you. Can we, can we work uh, up now? 65 <laughs> 7500 We could talk. All right. And where, where can they find you to, like, reach out to you? Okay, so um, my Instagram is Deja Vu Vibes Inc. D E J A V I B E S I N C. Um, you can find me on Facebook as Deborah Cardona. You could also find the chain, the movie group. I have a group going on now. So you guys could join on that group. Also, y'all could call us up 347 640 3920. And let's get some feedback. Yeah, talk to the lady. She's here in person. Call us up. Call us up. Call us up. Call us up. Um, I just want to say that I posted on Instagram that the fifth caller will get an autographed copy of Chain. I will personally take it to you. And if you're the tenth caller, I'm going to give you a free ticket to the movie. You better start calling. Y'all better start calling. (laughs) Everybody likes free. So go on my Instagram and be either the fifth or the 10th caller, and win something. So 347 640 Dial now. All right, how far are you trying to take this? You like trying to take it? Like, how far is it going to take us? The goal, the goal of the movie, of me filming the movie, is that 
I want to I want to take it to La, the Latino Film Festival. What I want to do is sell the copyrights. Terry Woods offered me. Don't say no numbers. No, I'm not. Oh, all right. Terry Woods offered me offered to buy the copyrights to Chain eleven years ago. Mm. I refused that offer because I knew that I had something. If she wanted it, you know. What you were going to give me, you were going to make millions. You made millions off of Dutch. Dutch is sitting in prison now, y bendito. You know what I mean? And I didn't want that to happen to me, so I kept my copyrights. I kept my book. But what I want to do is sell the copyrights to Chain, because there's two stories. There's Chain, and then there's a second part, twofold. So if a major production company buys Chain, they, are, they have to buy twofold as well, which if once they film it, it'll become a, uh, a full-featured film. All right, so you try to cash out. Yeah. All right. I'm trying to out. cash out because I have other projects, I have other projects and I also want to open up an all-female production company. So, and that starts with my cast. Like, my cast get first dibs. You know, let me tell you something. These girls, it didn't matter what time, what the weather was like, and you, they were there, you know, and I didn't pay them a dime. They did, they did this because they believed in the project. You know what I'm saying? And they believed that they, too, can benefit from this role that they played. They did an outstanding job. All right, give them a round of applause, man. Yeah. Give them a round. This is for the ladies. This is for yeah. the ladies. <laughs> What's going on with all this female cast? This the Me Too movement, a part of it? No, I just no. feel that women have a lot of a lot to talk about. You know, it's not all about the men. You know, you had your 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 male hustlers out there, and I was the only female standing there with them, and it was fire, and it, it was an adrenaline, and it was like you getting money, I'm gonna get money too. Move, like you know, yeah. and it, I felt powerful, and you know what? It felt good to to know that them niggas respect me. Just like they respected the next nigga. You know what I'm saying? At that time. But now that I'm here, where, you know, now that I'm where I'm at today, they still respect me. Gangster. Yeah, exactly. Gangster. Real gangster. No, you know, because this is what women, a, person this is what women. Did, a, a, a man will disrespect you in the game. I'm talking about the drug game. I'm not talking about, you know, anything else. He'll disrespect you because you're a female. Ah, oh, get out of here, whatever, whatever. You know, you have to prove yourself. I proved my, you know, I proved myself. And well, here tell, we are now. Not, not in full de details, but tell us a little something how you had to uh, prove yourself. <laughs> yeah. I had to prove myself. I had to stand out there. I had to hustle. I had to carry a gun. You know, I had to be one of them. I had to dress like a boy to camouflage. You know, so there were times that people didn't even know that sexy was on the block because sexy was dressed like a nigga. You know, and I really had, like, short hair. If people, if people knew me at that time, my sister will tell you, I had short, short hair, okay? I wore baggy clothes. I dressed like a boy just not to stand out. You know what I mean? So when the police would come, it was like, oh, she's just one of the niggas. Like, he's just one of the niggas. They wouldn't even look at me. Yeah, um, we all right, all right with that word over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Good on that. My nigga. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> That's what it is. All right. <laughs> Okay, don't worry. You're like, saying it. This. You're smiling while you're saying it, yo. It's yeah, just sound a little racist, yo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go a little suave, man. It's not nigga, nigga. It's nigga, no, 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 like lingo no, no, from the street. No, 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 not, not yeah, no. We, we good. We, we good. Uh, relax, 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 relax. relax. I don't want no problem. Go a little suave. Yeah, he was like, I don't want no problem. Go a little spot. Eight deep in here. They're talking about the audience. Well, it's the federalities. Oh, they the know audience. what I'm talking about. Stop it. Uh, this is hood to hood. Cut it, cut it out. This is hood to hood, uh, ain't I'm it? I'm not in the streets. Oh. <laughs> okay. You know it's hard out here yeah. for a I'm a, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> you should be. Well, I hear that. You should be nervous. Talk that ish. All right. All right. Do you know who you dealing with? All right. With? So uh, June tenth, yes. National Black Theater. Yes. What time does it start? Doors open at three. Movie yeah. starts at five. I'll be having um, the meet and greet media. You know, we'll be taking pictures in front of the step and repeat interviews. 
Then we'll have the movie, and then after that, we're gonna have. I'm gonna have food, and I'm gonna have wine. Can't have no liquor inside the spot. So, I got um, New Life. Yeah, New Life Juice Bar is sponsoring me, and they're coming to give out, you know, those shots and stuff. Tiger Bomb and all yeah, that. And yeah, all that yeah, stuff. Because yeah. I can't have liquor. And, and looking at so you. I figured, you know, oh. we could be getting healthy. I'll slide it a little back. Oh, oh, so, so, guys, they'll be giving out Tiger Bomb. You already know what that's about. <laughs> Tiger Bomb? There'll be a lot of females in the building. <laughs> yes. Yes. Tiger Bomb Hello. and Lexi. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> have you guys seen Lexi? No. 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 She look familiar. She look like somebody. I don't want to say what you look like. She Maria like Conchita Lexi. Alonso. Oh, she Maria like Conchita Alonso. Maria Conchita Alonso. <laughs> what she looks like? I got, a, I got a picture with her, too. Me and you got a picture with you, too. You look like. Who? Oh. Delicious? No. Oh, D- delicious what? didn't fight. She didn't I like fight. Delicious, though. She's cool. Mm. Better than who? Sorry. Terry. Terry? Yeah. Oh, I know her. <laughs> I think you know her. I think you I know, know who her. she is. No, that's my sister. <laughs> so I that's her sister. So she was at that party when we did that party? Yes. Oh, okay. Aww. I did what party? Before. You did? She be in all the yeah. parties. Oh, I was drunk, probably, because I'm like <laughs> trying to understand. Yeah, she probably was there. Yeah, yeah she probably was there. But Delicious oh. and... um. Oh, t- yeah, yeah I, was, I was there. Yeah, I, was the I had a lot of fun that night. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sick. That, well, I just said I was drunk, right? I, I got to part myself before. See, I, 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 knew, I knew I remember that wagon. From yeah, like, <laughs> that's why I said Tiger Bomb and Lexi. You got to watch what you say nowadays. It's funny because I forgot. But yeah, I was up on stage acting crazy. Yeah, she was Oh, okay. And y'all didn't videotape that? You never seen Lexi? Of somewhere. Lit? No, you know. I don't need you know, to drink. by 9 o'clock. Uh-huh. This is a whole new party. Uh, yeah, I can see they live come out and view the show. Um, we don't have no more clips. We couldn't do the other clip, right? What? We can't, we can't send it through the phone, Donna, right? No. Um, you don't have it on YouTube, right? No. Yeah, it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube? Oh, it's on YouTube. I've been set that, too, you see? <laughs> it's on all my pages. He just can't find it. Why not? I don't know. Que pasa? All right, it's going down June 10th. National Black Theater. The movie Chain. Check it out. Come support these beautiful ladies. Yes. You can go to YouTube. I'll be in the building. No, I, I, that's a Sunday. I got to. What? My sister's baby shower. Oh, Lord. What time is the baby shower? Because you know y'all be having an early ass. Oh, how many times you going to show, how many times you gonna show the movie you know Sunday? I mean? You know what I mean. Stop. It's just one show. You know, just us Spanish people start at 8. Yeah, I want to start at 2. I'll be like, why? Why? I'm Spanish too. Shut up. But we still alive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. You could be. Let's focus. Oh, sorry. We just having Jesus a private Christmas. conversation. Yeah, I see. Okay. Uh, well, back to you, Paul. <laughs> he don't stop smiling. That's all I'm saying. He's just cheating. I, mean, like, <laughs> I got a good dental plan. That's why I smile. Oh, life is good. No, well, no, she's no, making no, you no smile. Need I never seen him smile in my life. Oh, oh. Right. That, what, type, what type of show y'all be having? Y'all don't smile wow. me here? Nah, we be serious up here. Oh, no. Nah, y'all need we, to. We y'all hood to hood. Why? We keep, so serious. we keep it hood. We keep it hood. Gosh. Y'all just we be took mad it easy today. today. They be we mad took it easy. Day. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> There's a DMX up in here. Yeah, y'all need bring, some female hosts to come y'all up back in here up with us. and rock this well, shit listen, and make we, it pop. We have an event June 23rd, right? Okay. June 23rd. June 23rd. What's happening? Whatever. It's, um, it's, it's Hood to Hood Expo. Basically, what we have, and um, we have a lot of... Hood people. No. <laughs> no. See, there you go. <laughs> Jesus we have, Christ. We have a lot of people who have, like, clothing lines and stuff. Oh, so, you know, okay. so basically, Vendors. Like vendors, a little pop-up shop. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's dope. Entrepreneurs. Yeah. Come artists out. perform and stuff, you know. And y- y'all Showcase your nice. stuff. You can, uh, You gonna get me a table? Yeah. You wanna you get, get us table. together? Yeah, get a table. You gonna get okay, me a table? Okay, now. Got you. We got yeah. you. Right. Oh, we're gonna be taking gotcha. gotcha. we, we, we know you're cashing them, gonna them checks. We definitely got you. Two live. <laughs> two live crew. Two live crew? We're gonna be in there live. You gotta relax. <laughs> so, so make it <laughs> she, gotta <laughs> she gotta chill. I can't help it. Two live crew. Two live crew. We're gonna be in there like, we're gonna do signing. All right. Y'all wanna do some hood news with us? Talk to us. What's the hood news? This is gonna be fun. Let's get into like, let's get into like two songs. Give me some dope, man. Give me some dope so we can vibe out to. One song. You didn't send it. That's why. Send it. Dame yo estaba ahí ahora. Dame que me pon. Con lo suave. I'm going to send you my... Despacito. You trying to showcase her talent. 
Oh, you don't even know. I'm actually. I cannot. We'll give you an acapella. I'm a female artist. Give you a, oh, yeah? I just haven't done that in a while, but they call me Black Rose for a reason. Yeah. Okay. You don't know what I got to do to get through to you still remaining true. This is my life. I spit for proof. I got to drop my jewels and supply the food. Now I see you don't want to see me for what I'm worth. I'm last year first. You good, I'm hurt. This effing jerk had me coming up out my purse. It's like I remain in the worst. Live with a curse. All these... Ooh, let me stop. Okay. Let me stop. Okay. I said I wasn't going to do it no more. Brought it back to her essence. Alright. Yo, let's get into this music. Let's get into some music and we're going to come back with hood news. Ready, yo. Back at it, you already know what it is. We we not doing hood news because you don't have the background for us. Pause. It's hood to hood radio. Yeah. All right, we're gonna so we're gonna end it off with some hood news. You know what's going on in the hood. We're just gonna do it. All right. What's going on in Harlem? Let's, yeah. What's going on in Harlem? What's Harlem? What's going on in Harlem? People still wearing the they still wearing the tight jeans out there. The skinny jeans? Huh? They still wearing skinny jeans in Harlem? Yeah, they Okay. So sad. Well, nah, nah, nah. We're not, nah, we're not wearing no skinny jeans. No skinny jeans. No skinny jeans. We're strictly hip hop. I'm from the BX. My sons don't. No, they're from Harlem, coming to the Bronx. 50 Cent put a um, picture up of what's that kid from Harlem? Jim Jones. No, not ASAP Rocky. Do y'all think that's appropriate? Like that with his outfit? That's all. Uh, all your mic worked better right. when it's on. But it's been on. I didn't turn it off you unless y'all turned it off. You did turn it off. I did it. Yeah. I turned it You're off. You're drinking. You ain't thinking. You listen no, to I'm what not. she said and just say yes. This is wine, This is Christmas. You got to talk about Henny and then I'll be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But this is wine. <laughs> wine is actually potent. It is. Every time it's I take wine, I go to sleep. Oh no! All right, we're gonna talk about some hood news. We're gonna talk about this wine. This is hood news. Let's talk about um the basketball game. Did y'all see the basketball game? Oh no, I was busy. Um, what's going on with the game tonight? Tonight. Who's playing? I bet it on Cavs. Oh, interesting. I think Cavs gonna win four straight. The Cavs was down by 15 last I checked. Wow. Going into the second quarter. Not good. Second quarter, 15. Nah, he can still still do it. Yeah, I mean, Michael, Michael in here, so I can. It'll be, it'll be two minutes left, fourth quarter, and what I'm like, we can do it, and we did it with Michael. I know that, but that's gone. We got the king, though. Yeah, we got king, but still, it's still. I don't care. Nobody can do it like Mike. Nobody king, can king do it like is the Mike, man, but nobody can do it like Mike. I'm sorry. We will, we will, we will, we will argue. We will argue for life. 42-53, oh, that's oh, a close game. That's a close game. See, close told game. You, I told you. Close. They got some time. Points. Yeah, that's life. Like like what, one, more, one more quarter? No, a whole, a whole half. Oh, oh they a lit. We, we got a whole, man, listen, a whole half. I seen Cabinet today. I'm like, yo, who, who you going for? He said, I don't really care. I said, you don't watch sports no more, man? I just don't care for it. That's me. All I only right. watch sports to watch men play. Warriors versus Rock Rockets. Rockets. Warriors. Rockets. Rockets gonna pull it off. No, I don't think so. Rockets gonna pull know. it off. The Warriors winning the next two games, it's over. It's over. So if they barely won the home, Rockets might have a chance. 
All right, did anybody go out last week? Um, we found out every day last week. Yeah, I've been turned. Like, was, I was at an event so, the other so what, day. Where do y'all go? I mean, what, like, where do y'all hang out? At? Um, I go to events and get drunk. And, uh, I'm hit the event. So, like, anywhere where it's open bar. Yeah, I'm well, there. this is an event. Why am I there <laughs> with, like, swimwear? Like, where is it at? Just as long as it's not corny and we got some. I mean, after a few drinks, music sounds like music, so you start rocking out to anything. But, um, so what life for the party. Prefer? I prefer. It depends on what mood I'm in. Sometimes I'm like Patra. Like, I, I, don't want, I just want to hear reggae. And I'll be <laughs> in my Dutchy wine all night. You feel me? And then some days I want to dance salsa all night. So I go to the Spanish spot. And then some, it just depends what, what I wake up to. Shit, I know? need to start hanging out with Lex. I wake up to whatever I want to If I want to go to the lounge and chill out and, and, and smoke, then we got those events. If I, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it just depends. Don't tell them where. It's a secret. It's a secret. So, yeah. You know? There's no secrets in New York. Yeah. Oh, let's, you let's, ain't never lied. Just hanging out outside. There's no secrets here. Yeah, 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 social yeah. media. Not after social secret. media. Nothing's a secret. Yeah. Nothing's a secret. Because you end up on somebody's story or somebody's page, even yeah. when you're trying to be low. Somebody knows somebody that knows somebody. No, but we've been, like, um, on, on a serious note, we've just been promoting change. So, yeah, yes, hard. we've been we go. out a lot hard. If we're not promoting change, we're, we're, we're networking to make sure we're somewhere else promoting change. So it's nonstop right now, and uh, we we still got some more time. June tenth is not gonna stop because after that, we gotta you know rocket launch to to Cali. Yeah, we're gonna we're going to Cali. We taking it to Cali. What? Okay, Cali. I never been to That's Cali. You been plan. to Cali? Yeah, yeah I have. Been to Cali. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if they're ready for us, Cali? though. No? Mm. All right. How far? That is on a bucket list. How far? Oh, yeah, I, don't, I don't really care okay. for Cali. That's well, why I, I've never been there. No, they know, kill I, big out there, you man. You know, I, I was ignorant <laughs> for years. Rest in peace. And I, I went out there. Uh, why you was left. ignorant? Because they kill big. Oh, I said I would never, I would I never go to Cali. I got you. True New Yorkers. But, you know, I, I had to grow. You know, I got older. Growth, growth. Yeah. But we're going over there. We're going to the Latino Film Festival. So, no, we're not just going there. You know, we're going there with a purpose. We want to work. Right. So mm-hmm. we are, I already submitted um, the movie to the Latino Film Festival. I'm just waiting for an answer. Give us the applause. We need that right now. Yeah. So, you know, if, it, could, it could go either way. <laughs> if they accept my you movie. You sleeping over there. If they accept the movie for the film festival, we'll be there. If they don't accept the movie, we'll be there. Like, so we're going to go. You're just going to Debo your way in? Yeah, we're just going to. Well, I, my film doesn't have to be on the screen in order for me to, you know, Promote. to market, you know, oh, okay. my, my my movie. So it's just, you know, for them, I'm just going to leave it. So I can always market, the, you know, the script. And That's when you go left. and market your work, you have to have the whole package. So I have the book. I have the numbers from the sale of the book. I have the script, and now I have the visual. So it's a package deal. All right. You, you know, focus, there's some people that are always lacking something. Right. You know, they're either lacking the numbers, or they're lacking the books, or they're lacking, you know, in their script, or some some way, shape, or form, they're always lacking something. I already have the full package, and that was why I filmed the movie. All right, you heard it here first. Callie, watch out. Kick in the door. Wave in the 4-4. Four, four. We coming. All right. All right, so um, give them your Instagrams. And well, all that. you can find me. My name is um, Lexi Jose, the real Lexi Jose on Instagram. That's the only place you're going to find me. Spell it. L-E-X-I-E-J-O-S-E. Slow it down. The real Lexi Jose. L-E-X-I-E-J-O-S-E. There you go. Follow her. <laughs> They're going to just follow you. Oh, follow, the yeah. Ooh, follow, <laughs> follow the mic. Follow me. Follow the mic. She's like, <laughs> and you guys could catch me on Instagram also. It's I am Black Rose NYC. Everything spelled that way. I A M B L A C K R O S E. Okay. Hit us up. Hit us up. Click the link on my bio. That's all I'm gonna tell you right now. Call us now too, cause y'all were calling when we was on break. And how are we supposed to give this book away? How are we supposed to give this ticket away? Three four seven six forty thirty nine twenty. Vamos a hacer la pila porque díganme. Loud and proud. Okay. Yeah, oh my God. Oh, yeah. It's over. Omega. All right. Hood to Hood Radio, we up. Oh. Also, that, she's, cool, she for she's cool for now. She's cool for now. She's four. No, she's cool. The number four now. You guys uh, make sure to hit her up, too. 
Deja vu. Yeah. Say your, your Instagram one more time. Oh, one more again. One more again. Oh, my Instagram is Deja Vu Vibes Inc. D E J A V U V I B E S I N C. You got it's too many I don't like it. Give us some applause again. I don't think that's it, but just just that find it. You can always rewind. Deja Vu Vibes. Just find it through us. D E J A V U V I B E S I N C. Yeah. See y'all yeah, okay. on our yeah. Instagram, please. <laughs> All right, check it out. And the movie is coming out June 10th. June 10th, National Black Starting Time. National Black PM. Doors open. 3 p.m. Don't link it to all of our bios. So click the okay. link and buy your ticket. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. You heard it here first with her radio. You already know what it is. We see y'all next week, Wednesday at 8 p.m. Can we do a hood post? No, we're going to flip it up. <laughs> she got to chill. <laughs> she got to chill. Till the next episode. <laughs> we up out of here. Hold <laughs> on. All strange things, they come and go as early warnings. All strange things, they come and go as early warnings. What the fuck is wrong with you? Fuck you, bitch. I'm fucking That's motherfucking right. expected to see, right? Fuck you! Oh, get the goddamn arm. Oh, you're hurting my fucking arm. You fucking speak. Oh, my arm. Fuck up. Not oh, getting out of here. What's your bill? Two hundred and fifty thousand. On uh, everything I love, I'm gonna get you.